Good day and welcome to the Monday, April 4th edition of the Horizon Communication Sports Brief. I'm Earl Basden. In Premier Division football action yesterday at the Bernard Park, the North Village Rams put a big dent in the PHC Zebras' title hopes following a 2-2 draw. At the White Hill Field, the St. George's Colts ended their season with a 3-2 win over the Somerset Eagles. On Saturday night up at the Somerset Cricket Club, the Somerset Trojans defeated the Southampton Rangers 6-1. Yesterday at the Wellington Oval, Hamilton Parish presented the First Division Trophy from Bermuda Football Association Second Vice President Cranston Williams and the Minister of Sports, Dr. Ernest Peets, after they defeated Wolves 3-1. On Saturday night at the BAA Field, the Boulevard Blazers made their long-awaited return to the Premier Division following their 3-2 win over BAA. At the Police Field yesterday, Young Man Social Club picked up a 6-0 win over the Paget Lions. And then on Saturday night, up at the Somerset Cricket Club, the match between Ireland Rangers and Vasco was not played as Vasco informed the Bermuda Football Association they were unable to field a team and therefore forfeited the match. Bermuda also had plenty of overseas footballers' teams in action. Nicky Wells started for Bristol City in their away match against AFC Bournemouth, but he could not prevent them from going down 3-0. 3-2-1. Uh, 3-2. Billy Clemens, Reggie Lamb and their Stowe Market Town teammates took on Barking FC. Clemens found the back of the net. However, Barking would score twice in the second half Come back and draw 2-2. Kizai Martin and his Kittyminster teammates finished in a scoreless draw with Bradford. Koho and his Natwich Town teammates picked up a 2-1 win over Scarborough. Ty Williams has decided, after a few months of debate, to take some extra time off from the Deeping Rangers. Ali Odeo scored, but he and his Eastwood teammates fell 4-3 to Skegness in the United Counties Northern Premier Division action. Milan Butterfield and his Everton Town teammates defeated Hereford 2-1. Amar Lewis and his Arlo Town teammates defeated Barton Rovers FC 2-0. Nori Scott and his Hasting United teammates played to a scoreless draw with Haywards Heath Town. Conacio Hunt started in goal and shot out Sunderland RCA, along with his Thornaby teammates, 4-0. Jaya Prophet Williams and his Dover Athletic teammates drew 1-1 at home to Kingsland Town. Two penalties scored late helped Zico Lewis and his Sacramento Republic FC teammates collect all three points against Monterey Bay at the Hart Health Park. Ryan Lopes came off the bench, while Razier Smith-Jones was an unused substitute as their Hartley Whitney FC teammates defeated Tiverton Town 2-0 in Southern Football League action. The Major Arena Soccer League announced, due to a series of cancelled flights, including a National Southwest outage, the game between David Bascom's Baltimore Blast and the Florida Tropics had to be cancelled. Delia Eben and her Barrytown United ladies teammates fell to the nil at home to Port Talbot. Kenny Thompson was not in the London City Lioness team that defeated Charlton in their FA Women's Championship clash. Whitney Dewar and her FC Phillipsbach teammates defeated FC Wollen 3-2 in Switzerland Women's Regional League action. The Bermuda Triangle connection of Alexander Ryman Lipinski and Xavier De Rosa from the Work Archers Youth Program and fellow Bermudian Niall Bean helped the 2007 New England Surf State Navy team win the Under-15 Platinum Division Championship match at the Jefferson Cup Showcase in Richmond, Virginia. Caitlin Conyers competed in the Tour de Matura. During Stage 1, the Grand Prix in the Women's Pro 1-3 division, Conyers finished 14th. Stage 2 was a circuit race that saw Conyers ride to victory. The combined results saw Conyers finish 5th overall. Meanwhile, on local soil, the Winner's Edge Mountain Bike Championships took place at the Southlands Park yesterday with Robin Horsfield successfully defending his crown as the Open Men's National Champion. Cassandra McPhee won the Open Female category. James Holloran, 
James Holloway won the Masters Men's Division, Cameron Morris won the Junior Men's Division, and young Sky Ferguson was crowned the 2022 Junior Women's National Champion. Caitlin Barr, Sakasia Parsons, Katura Beaufort Trot, and their University of Maryland Baltimore County women's track and field teammates completed on day two of the Towson Invitational. Bob won the women's 200 meter dash across the line in a time of 24 60. Beaufort Trot ran the third leg for the UMBC women's 4x100 meter relay team that finished fifth, clocking 48 85. Parson finished 18th in the women's long jump with a top leap of 5. 0.02 meters. The Reapers on Saturday night were crowned the Bermuda Basketball Association's Island Basketball Champions inside the Cedar Bridge Academy Gymnasium. Taking on the Black Mambas in the final, the Reapers jumped out to an early lead and controlled the match, claiming a 59-43 win. Kamal Levrock and his Titans teammates had a mixed day on day two of the Houston Open 2022, winning their first game of the day before falling short in their second game. The Titans would take on the field manager's Thunders in their morning match and they would win by five wickets. The field manager's Thunders won the toss and elected to bat and they were bowled out for 105. In reply, the Titans scored 108 for five in 14.1 overs with Levrock scoring 20. In the second match of the day, the Titans took on Nepali Rhinos and would fall by four runs. The Nepali Rhinos won the toss and elected to bat and they would score 195 for five in their allotted 20 overs. In reply, the Titans were bowled out for 191. Lavrock and his opening partner got them off to a solid start, scoring 86 off of the first eight overs before Lavrock fell for 47 off of 26 bowls, hitting four fours and three sixes. The Harness Pony Race season came to an end at the National Equestrian Center on Vesey Street on Saturday night. In heat six of the 105 and one and faster time bar class, Carista Rabane in the bike of Simsfield Hard Times clocked a winning time of 102 flat. War Machine with Philip Correa in the bike was second, clocking 102 and one. In heat three, the 103 and two to 104 and two time bar class saw IC overextended with Rabane in the bike win the race with a time of 105 flat. Shady Maple with Katrina Stevens in the bike finished second, clocking 105 and 1. Jaza James in the bike of It's All About Me finished third, clocking 105 and 2. And Candice Martins in the bike of Golden Glory finished fourth, clocking 105 and 3. Meanwhile, Casey Truen and his Savannah College of Arts and Designs equestrian teammates were named the champions at the IHSA Zone 5 Finals at home. Daniel Augustus was once again back in action on the APGA Tour at Port St. Lucie in Florida. Augustus shot a second round, four under par 68 to come off the course, up 13 places from his first round to finish tie 10th. Augustus shot a second round, six birdies, 10 pars, and two bogeys. Meanwhile, Oliver Batshot picked up the win at the Fort Sam Golf Course in San San Antonio, Texas. Batshot played an impressive round of golf, shooting a two under par round of 69, winning both his age group and the entire field of 49 players. The Bermuda Karting Club's 2021-2022 season continued with a race day at the Southside Motorsports Park. The Tag Senior Three, two, one. The tag senior class saw Bilal Bins win the three, two, one. The tag senior class saw Bilal Bins in the winner's circle in all three races. The L206 senior class saw two different winners. David Barboza would drive to victory in the first and second races with Jason North winning race three. Ryan Burgess won two of the three races in the shifter stock class. He won races two and three after Ryan Rabello won the first race. The cadet class saw Roman Wilkinson win all three races. Trina Roberts was the only Bermuda archer to compete in the Belgium Ice Nation Shoot. Roberts finished second competing in the 30 meter recurve division with a score of 554 points. 
And that's a look at the Monday, April 4th edition of the Horizon Communication Sports Brief. I'm Earl Basting.